जय श्री माधे जी एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस मॉर्निंग मेडिटेशन सेशन विच इज कंडक्टेड इन श्री माधे जी इज प्रेजेंस एंड आई हैव ब्लेसिंग्स एंड ग्रेस as you all know that these sessions are an attempt to achieve the greater the greatest heights of sahaj yoga meditation for which shri mata ji has resurrected us given us a second birth in the same body shri mata ji avikan jakundalani so that it could cleanse out all the chakras the six chakras within the body and lighten our spirit in the left heart open up our agya which is a door to heaven and the heaven which is a sahasrara we become the citizen of god's kingdom at as a hisara to maintain this level which is the first level of getting into thoughtless awareness wherein we cross our agya and come to us sahasrara it is difficult if we stay here our brahmarandra has been opened out not to remain there but to move forward to fly higher and higher and higher till we become absolute one vishi sadashiva which is called the god realization by none other than shri mata ji herself that this is the eventually our aim to be god realized so the first step is self realization wherein a kundalini is awakened and lightens our spirit and we enter the area of unconsciousness which comes into our conscious mind now the unconscious word means that we were not aware about a spirit we always thought that we were this body mind ego and whatever names we live this life with but we are not that we come to realize after our self realization which is a blessing by none other than adi shakti herself who resurrected us who opened up aragya and we could come to us a hisara as a spirit which is a reflection of lord shri sadashiva within the heart and when we come out of a brahmarandra the kundalini which is 
a combined energy, the residual energy of many, many divine energies, which are like threads in thousands. At the time of realization, only few threads of this divine power are able to penetrate through our Brahmarandra. But with practice, on the higher chakras, like Ardha Bindu, Bindu, Vale, we are able to raise more and more threads of this divine power, the Kundalini, within us, which is a true reflection of Sri Adi Shakti, Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi. And she is the only one who could raise it. She incarnated on this earth and selected the seekers who had been trying to seek God in their past lives. So that is what we are and what we have to become eventually, passing through a nirvikalpa state a state wherein we can remain thoughtless all the time, whatever we may do, but we are in meditation. We are above our Sahasrara. So that is the transition point which we cross after Bindu Chakra. And the eventual aim, the final goal, is to become God-realized, which we can achieve once we start meditating upon the higher chakras, because the Kundalini power has to penetrate through these chakras to activate them, move higher and penetrate the sky. Even higher it goes out into the space where we can get connected with different planets which impact favorably or adversely our chakras and eventually our life, which is directly impacted by all the planets all the planetary movements in the space. Once we are able to reach here through our Kundalini Baba, our Mother Kundalini, we are able to receive their blessings directly on the chakras. After receiving the blessings, we move higher and go beyond the space, which is called the torsion area by Einstein, the absolute zero, where the temperature is minus 269 degrees Celsius, a temperature which cannot be felt and experienced achieved by any living scientist so far. We go to that point, and this is called Shunya Sarova, or the Absolute Zero, where we see Shri Sadashiva, we feel Shri Sadashiva, And with Sri Mataji's blessings and grace, we get eventually immersed in his physical form and formless body, completely, and enjoy the oneness 
with the Supreme Father, Lord Shri Sadashiva, who never takes birth, has never incarnated on earth. This is the state which we all have to achieve to manifest a self-realization. So this is the format. To begin with, we start with the balancing. Because if our channels are balanced, it's easier to fly high like a bird with a very light attention. Attention does not pull us down to materialistic life. If both the channels, left and the right, are balanced, because the ascent can only take place through the Sushumna, the central channel. So first we do the balancing and listen to Shimatajeev's verses the nectar flows out of them. Try to understand, comprehend what she wants to convey to us. Thereafter we continue a meditation to the higher chakras, space and the ocean of absolute sea and receive Shri Brahma Chaitanya flowing out of Shri Sadashiva's lotus feet. Once you finish a meditation today, we'll have 10 to 15 minutes interaction wherein you can raise your qu queries and Vishri Mataji's blessings. We'll try to Resolve those queries after this meditation session. Jai Shri Mataji. We all shall sit comfortably and prepare ourselves physically and mentally. To receive the blessings of Shri Adi Shakti within a being and without a being. We shall have no thoughts, no movement of any sort, no movement at all physical or mental, no thoughts, do not think, just don't think, just surrender to the five elements, surrender yourselves completely, completely, completely. If some of us are not feeling the thoughtlessness which comes only after balanced state, please raise your kundalini and take bandhan.
You shall place a left hand on the lap and the right hand on the ground and pray. Shri Mataji, you are the very Lishi Mahakali. You are the very Lishi Bhairav Naji. You reside in the left channel of my body and cleanse the entire left side of my body. Shri Mataji, please awaken. Please awaken with all your powers and virtues. Please remove and destroy all the negativities within my being and without. O Mahakali, please awaken in my era nari and remove all that's negative, impure. Any kind of a possession from tantrikas, kukurus or gurus, who have settled down in my being, which I am not aware. O oh, Mother Divine, please remove all such agurus and kukurus and their possessions in the left channel into your Mother Earth element. You are the very Lee, Mother Earth, Adi Bhumi, Primordial Mother, Primordial Kundalini inside the Mother Earth. O oh, Mother Divine, please suck all my negativities into your Mother Earth element with your gravitational pull. Please suck them all through my right hand. We shall place our attention on the left hand to verify if the blessings are being bestowed, the prayers are being answered. Let's place our attention on the center of our palm of the left hand and feel the grace in the left hand. Take your attention to the thumb and all the four fingers one by one to receive the grace of Shri Mahakali. If you're experiencing cool breeze, the left channel is being cleansed out. We can feel Shri Bhairav Naji moving up and down in the left channel, working out removal of all the obstacles in my spiritual ascent, removing all the darkness with the torch in his hand, Shri Bhairav Naji. Please awaken, please awaken, please awaken. Take your attention to the sole of your left foot, left foot, the sole all the two fingers, calf, knees, upper leg, left side of your back 
and front left neck left side of your neck left eye right side of your forehead your back eye Feel the blessings of divine. And we shall place the right hand on the lap and the left hand folded from the elbow, arm facing the sky and pray, O oh Mother Divine, you are the very Lishi Maha Saraswati, Shri Hanumana. Please awaken in the right side of my body, in my right channel, my Pingala Nadi. Please awaken. Awaken Shri Mataji, as Shri Maha Saraswati, as Shri Hanumana. Please awaken Shri Mataji in my right channel and remove all the negativities coming from my supra conscious area. Shri Mataji, all the negativities spoil all the work that I do in my worldly life. In my spiritual life, please remove all the obstacles, all the negativities, and take them into your sky element, into the ether from my left hand. Please remove all the negativities through my left hand into the sky. You can place your attention on the right hand to check out, to verify if the cleansing is taking place the prayers are being answered by placing your attention on the center of your palm of the right hand, thumb and all the fingers one by one. Entire attention on the right hand. Let the right channel be activated completely, completely, completely. Let Shri Hanumana cleanse out the right channel and remove all the excess heat disturbing my balance into the ether element. All my ego, my anger, into the ether element. I'm not the doer. Shimadiji, you are the doer. Then why do I worry? Why do I plan? Why do I think so much when you are working out everything for me? I really do nothing. I'm not the doer. You are the doer, Ma. You are the doer.
we shall give attention to the sole of our right foot entire attention on the sole of your right foot calf area knees upper leg the right upper leg right side of the back and the front right side of your throat your neck right eye left side of the forehead till back arch both the hands in the lap now we shall take our attention in the spine deep inside our spine lies the brahmanadi very thin brahmanadi all the chakras are situated located on this brahmanadi We shall take attention to our Muladhara Chakra, the base of our spine. Lord Ganesha resides here. Shri Mataji, you are the very lady. Lord Ganesha, please awaken me in my Muladhara Chakra. Please make me innocent like Lord Ganesha. surrender that you lot is feel like lord ganesha fearless like lord ganesha wise like lord ganesha o lord ganesha i meditate upon you please bless me with your powers and virtues please awaken entire attention on muladhara chakra if it is getting cool down and lord ganesha has awakened in the muladhara chakra o lord ganesha please allow please help me with the raising of my kundalini please allow the gauri kundalini ma to rise and cleanse all my chakras lord ganesha please bless Let's bring our attention to the triangular bone, the sacrum bone. Here resides Mother Kundalini. Let's pray, O oh Mother Kundalini, please rise and cleanse all my chakras, enlighten my spirit, make me the spirit that I am. Please rise. Now we shall bring our attention to Swadhisthan Chakra and pray. Shri Mata Ji, you are the very Lishi Brahma Devi of Saraswati. You are the Saraswati Power, blessing me with the pure knowledge and the pure desire. Please awaken. in my swadhisthan chakra please awaken shri mata ji as shri brahma dev saraswati
we shall go down and move our attention to our Manipur Chakra. Shri Mataji, you are the very Lishri Lakshmi. Shri Vishnu Lakshmi, Shri Mataji, please bless me with my material and spiritual growth. Shri Mataji, please bless me with all the riches of material and spiritual life. Health, wealth, prosperity, peace, satisfaction. Shemataji, make me generous. Mataji, please clear the path of my spiritual ascent, giving me the knowledge of the union with divine. Entire attention on the Manipur Chakra. Now let us bring our attention to the central heart where resides Ma Jagadamba with all her powers, all the deities, all the Ganas, all the planets under her feet, entire cosmos under her feet. We shall bow down and feel her powers and presence in the central heart. Let's bring our attention to a spirit. Keep our attention on the left heart and pray. Please make sure that your attention is on the spine, deep inside your spine. Feel the chakras, feel your spirit in the left heart. It can be easily felt. Just place your attention deep inside the left heart and pray. O Mother Kundalini, please rise and enlighten my spirit completely and fully. I'm just a pure spirit. I'm not this body, not this mind, not intellect, not ego. I don't identify myself with these designations or the names. I'm just a pure spirit. I'm immortal. I never grow old or die. I take birth. I'm immortal. I'm just a pure spirit. I'm Shiva. I'm a pure spirit. Pure spirit. Pure spirit. Your spirit. Now we shall bring our attention to deep inside our throat and feel a Vishuddhi Chakra on the spine, on the bulging bone, inside the bulging bone. Vishuddhi Chakra. 
making us part and parcel of the whole universe of Virata, making us collective. Shri Radha Krishna beside her with all the divine energies, all the powers and the beauty. Entire attention on Vishuddhi Chakra, the Lord Krishna. Please give me the communication skills, the sweetness of my tongue. Please bless. Please make me part and parcel of the whole. We can feel the chakra very well. Just place your attention inside the bulging bone at the base of your neck. You can feel this chakra rotating. Bring your attention to back arcade and pray. Shri Mataji, you are the very late, Shri Mahaganesha. Please forgive my ancestors for whatever wrong they have done. Please forgive their sins. Please emancipate them from my being completely. Please grant them salvation, the moksha. Shri Mataji, please liberate them from my subtle system. Forgive their sins. We shall bring our attention to our front arcade and see the front arcade opening very broad. It's opening out very, very broad. Very broad. Move down to Lord Jesus Christ and come to Abhramarandra and feel a lot of threads are piercing through the Brahmarandra, coming out. We can feel Shri Mataji, Shri Charan. All the threads of the Kundalini are getting attached to her lotus feet. We can feel the nectar flowing out from her lotus feet. Entering our entire skull, our brain, activating all the veins, nerves in the brain, inside the brain. The nectar is flowing out of a lotus feet. Entire brain, entire spine is trickling down. Param Chatan is trickling down through my spine till my Mooladha Chakra entering my body completely opening the missiles in the A cell of my body the particle of the atom in my body which belongs and can be opened out only by Shri Shakti gives us the coolness, the breeze. All the missions are opening in the entire body. We can feel going deep inside the body, entire back, front, 
left leg, right leg. We'll bring back attention to a sahasara and keep receiving the nectar flowing out of her feet. Take attention to Ardhibindu Chakra, 3-4 inch, inches higher above the head. Bindu Chakra and the Valya Chakra. Valya Chakra is the point where both our hands meet when we raise them. Valya Chakra. We can feel the nectar pouring down on our being. Pouring down on a being, pouring down on a being. Keep receiving from each cell of your body. Now we shall listen to a little part of Srimataji's speech given in 1990. A new jump has to be taken. We'll have it in two parts, so let me play for you. So let's grasp and comprehend what we should actually. Very nice to see you all here for Easter Buddha. Very nice. Such a pleasure. Such a joy. 
as if I feel resurrection working fast. The year 1990 has come now. As a special year for all of us. Surge yogas are going to spread very fast, no doubt. Everywhere, all over the world, I know that. It has to spread. And <clears throat> also I told you that a new jump has to be taken by all the surgeries. Uh, to explain it, we say that Surge Yoga is spreading in a horizontal manner. Plane is horizontal. And you, you are responsible for that world. You are working it out, no doubt. Because of you, it has spread. Some of you have gone all out to work it out, to spread it to villages, surrounding places, different countries. Also the events, world events have helped us a lot. And Sahaja Yoga has worked in a very big way. Maybe it will be difficult for us to really balance it out. But when we move horizontally, we must also know that we have to move vertically. Otherwise, what will happen that we lose in quality. Quantity may be quite a lot, but we lack in quality. If the quality goes down, then you'll see many will fritter away. So we have to look after our vertical ascent, which is very important. If I tell you some of the things <coughs> that have happened in this short time after I left India, I'm myself amazed that in geometrical proportions, the yoga is rising very high. But that should not be complete satisfaction. Individually also we have to rise. And every one of you have to rise. Vertical ascent has to be achieved by all of you. Some might have lost a little bit, some might have been a little bit away from themselves. The attention might have frittered away quite a lot. But we have to know why we are here. And then it's very easy. We are here to be part and parcel of a very good, very great revolution. Can you imagine that we are transforming human beings? It was never possible. Our mass transformation is going to take place. That is how this world is going to change. And you are part and parcel of that. But when you become part and parcel of that, you just forget sometimes that we have many things which are trying to pull us down. So we are happy to see a spread of Sahaja Yoga, but we don't see vertically what we are losing. And that I think is a greater loss. Doesn't matter if there are two persons less or more. What is important is that we should have very deep Sahaja Yoga. Otherwise, Sahaja Yoga will fritter away. So many events are going to happen. Uh, we are on the stage. And we have to cooperate and coordinate and understand. See now, for example, come here. 
David had a problem. He said, Mother, it's just like a tempest. It's horrible. I was there being bad. I was quite upset about it. Everybody told me about this place. I said, oh, I said, see. <laughs> anyway, yesterday also, it, I'm told it was raining. But in Cambridge, it was terrible. And I said, the wind will start and wind will blow. The wind. All the clouds were blown out. And there was clear sky. <coughs> So now, when you have become the realized soul, you are the bird. You are the real free bird, which has got wings, which has got eyes, which can fly, which does not have those qualities which you had as eggs. It's completely transformed. It's finished. It's mythical. You cannot become that now. If a bird wants to become an egg, it will suffocate and die. This reverse direction is not possible. But why? Why to be in the reverse direction? We should ask questions to ourselves. We have to ascend. So, in resurrection, we have to learn detachment. It's only mental. I mean, I don't know how can a bird be attached to an egg. It could be attached to an egg, thinking, oh, how cozy I was, I didn't have to fly. Or something like that could be seen. I mean, only bad things there are to be an egg and to think about an egg, but I don't know how it can be attached or not. The contrary, it would abhor that life. Oh, what I was, where I was. In the same way, we should also feel that. A kind of glory that we are. But there's no vanity in it. It's a pride. It's a Assumption is uh, acceptance. You are sitting on a throne. Now, are you cannot enjoy mud, can you? So, when we reverse back, when our mind goes in a reverse direction, you have to understand that you are slipping out. <coughs> that is very important. My experience of Australia was rather saddening because I found that slipped out completely all of them. Jai Shri Mataji. Whatever uh, little we could, you know, listen to out of this uh, entire Amritwani, 1990, you have to move in the vertical direction. You have to take a leap. You have to take a jump. Wherein, in the beginning of the speech, as we have all heard, Shimataji talked about that we are going growing horizontally. We have spread Sahaj Yoga to great limits, but what we are losing out, we are losing out the ascent, which is vertical. That means the quality has to be, you know, of a, a very deep Sahaj Yogi for Sahaj Yoga to stay. And uh, that Sahaja Yoga should not fritter out by having very, very weak and meek Sahaja Yogis. It will finish one day. Shri Mataji is saying, because it is an Easter Puja, and she's saying that out of a, you know, egg you come out as a bird and the bird has to take a flight because it has wings, it is very light, and it can fly. Shimataji said that we don't have to become an egg. 
we cannot go back. We have to move on. We have to go higher and higher and higher. There is no reverse direction in this. So, and if we try and do that, I mean, how can a bird become an egg? It has to suffocate and die. Even then, it cannot become an egg. So from egg, she has come out as a bird. So Shumatiji is talking about the materialistic attachments. We should leave completely because they pull down our attention. And the attention has to be very light in order to become like a bird and have a vertical growth or the ascent that Shimataji is talking about, for which she has resurrected us. Out of an egg, so the bird is, you know, she takes two births. One is the egg and second when she becomes a bird. So similarly, we are also twice born. We are born again. We cannot go back into that egg state again. Otherwise, there is no life and we go into, you know, the seven layers of Narg, which is, you know, the hell. So we don't want to go there, obviously. So we have to have our ascent intact. And for that, we have to have a very, very light attention. That means our attention should not be stuck to materialistic world, desires, impure desires, like my wife, my child, my money, my property, my problems, worldly problems, all of us have, but then we know how to detach ourselves because once you become the spirit, we can witness. We don't get involved. We witness as if you're watching a play or a movie. We are not in that. I mean, we don't identify ourselves with whatever is happening in the movie. So life is also like a movie and we have to watch the way we watch a movie and don't get involved because if we do get involved in a life, in the joys, sorrows, even the what, whatever she, Mahamaya brings, you know, the happiness or whatever things, and we get lost in them. So the blessings of Sahaj Yoga often get us lost in them. This is something which we have to, don't let it happen, it, don't let it happen in any which case at any cost. So the blessings are coming, but you be a spirit and watch and let your attention be lighter and lighter and lighter. And then only we can go to Nirvikalpa and absolute zero, the ocean of absolute zero, the Shona Sarova. So this is what Shumatati has said, and we all are obedient children, good children of Shumatati. We should follow each word that she has told us. First we'll become the spirit, and then we get into witness state. Attention becomes lighter, and we can move higher and higher and higher. And reach the highest point. That is the oneness with Lord Sri Sadashiva. So let us meditate to the high chakras, planets, and the ocean of absolute zero. Jai We all shall pull back our attention in the central heart. Entire attention in the center heart. Where resides Sri Lord Ganesha, Shri Kartike, Lord Hanumana, Shri Bhairavnath, and Shri Mataji as Jagadamba, the mother of the whole universe, the mother of all the deities, 
the creator of all the planets, the entire universe, cosmos. Shri Mataji resides here in all the security of the Ganas, always guarding, protecting all her moments. Let us bow down at the lotus feet of Sri Jagadamba and with all her powers, blessings and all the lights of her spirit shining our central heart. We shall move higher to a Vishuddhi Chakra with all the lights and the powers and the blessings of all the deities, Majagadamba. Come to a Vishuddhi Chakra. Come to our Agya Chakra. Now the Brahmarad. Bow down at Lotus Feet of Shri Mataji Sahasrara. Move higher to Ardha Bindu Chakra, which looks like a half moon, the crescent. Feel it. Move higher to Bindu Chakra. Even higher the Vala Chakra. A Kundalini power. The Kundalini Mother is penetrating, piercing through all these chakras, moving higher, higher and higher. There are many other small chakras, she is piercing through them, reaching the sky. Take your attention to the sky and let your attention spread in the sky. Become one with Chaitanya. Chit, getting merged with Chaitanya. Sky, let's spread our attention in the sky completely. Let the Param Chaitanya fall on us. And get tensed completely. Completely. Let Param Chaitanya drenches completely. Our attention and Param Chaitanya are one now. Completely merged with each other. Let the Param Chaitanya fall on us. Feel you are getting tensed. Get tensed. Now we shall have our attention. Back in the sky we are Kundalini power is penetrating through the sky, reaching the space like a rocket. The entire space, planet Mars, planet Mercury, planet Jupiter, Saturn, Venus, Saturn, Sun, Moon, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, all the planets, the Sun and the Moon, we are receiving their blessings, becoming one with them. Pass through the Milky Ways, 
keep moving higher and higher and higher with attention the kundalini power is moving penetrating the space reaching higher now we have reached the ocean of absolute zero here resides shri sadashiva shri sadashiva is sitting in the meditation pose his eyes are closed he shall place her head on his feet and pray o oh, father the lord shri sadashiva please take away all the joy all the sorrows all the worldly desires all the sins whatever we do in the worldly life because of our impure desires because of our five senses taking us in all wrong directions please take away all such joys and sorrows which we have received in a materialistic life into your lotus feet and make us the witness so that we don't get involved in any of them this is a play of shri mahamaya shri adi shakti the happiness the miseries sorrows pleasing not pleasing things all of it just to play of us please absolve all the materialistic desires into your lotus feet make us a pure spirit she sada shiva we are your children please help please bless we shall feel lot of impurities are getting dissolved in his lotus feet we are feeling very light we have become like a small light small flick this is a spirit how we shall pray o lord shiva o our supreme father please bless us with the union of your being let my spirit immerse in your being completely we shall feel that our spirit is entering his left heart and becoming one with him we are getting immersed completely in his being feel the joy and the peace complete peace complete oneness
complete oneness. We are enjoying the oneness with him. The yoga with the father. Slowly and gradually we'll detach ourselves. Slowly and gradually. Place a head on his feet and pray. Oh Father, we thank you. Again and again. Please accept our gratitude for selecting us for the self-realization. O oh, our Father, we thank you again and again. Please accept our gratitude for sending Shri Adi Shakti's incarnation as Shri Mataji Nirmala Devi Onad. We thank you again and again. We thank you again and again for this incarnation, for selecting us and blessing us with the union with you. A complete union. Please forgive all our impure desires. We leave them behind. Please make us a pure spirit in complete witness form all the time. This box is actually 27 years old. And I want to tell you what's in this box. We shall slowly and gradually come down to space, all the planets. 
thanking them, expressing our gratitude to all the planets who made it possible. Coming further down to the sky and from the sky, we can spread our attention in the entire world in the sky. Entire world. Take attention to America. Keep the map of the whole world in your attention. America, Africa, Europe, England, Asia, Australia, India. Entire world in your attention. Nashi Mataji's Param Chatani workout, whatever is wrong anywhere in the world, help the seekers to achieve their spiritual ascent, leaving behind the materialistic pleasures or worldly pains, sorrows, miseries, leave them all behind and achieve their God realization. We shall bring back attention to a Sahasrara, where we are still receiving the Param Chaitanya coming from Shiv Loka, the ocean of absolute zero. Lot of Param Chaitanya is still pouring down on us. We are bathing in Param Chaitanya. A Rudra Vishik is going on. Param Chaitanya is falling on us, on our head, on all the 11 Rudras. We are getting drenched. Complete body. Complete body is drenched. We shall come back to our heart. Sahasrara, Agnya Vishuddhi and our heart. Bow down to Sri Mataji, Jagadamba. And pray, Sri Mataji, you are the very Lee, Goddess Jagadamba, the Queen of the Universe. Please bless us with the ultimate goal of this realization. Shri Mataji, please forgive for whatever wrong we might have done ever in any of our lives, in this life too. Please keep us surrendered at your lotus feet forever and ever. Jai Mataji. With this, we conclude today's meditation session. If you have any query or anything that you want to ask, we can talk about it. She's there present with us. We'll surely receive our answers and have our query sorted. Jai Mataji.
I think everybody is uh, in a blissful state. No queries, I guess. Jesh Mataji. Yeah, Jesh Mataji. How are you? Fine, fine. Find yourself. Uh, beautiful, very beautiful. There's no question from our side. Okay, I'm very happy. Okay, Shri Mataji yeah. has sorted all your queries. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Shri Mataji. Thank you. Thank you for this beautiful feeling. Thank you, Bello Bhaiya. Thank you. Jai Shri Mataji. Jai Shri Mataji.